Good morning. Breaking stereotypes. Some people might wonder, why do we call this breaking stereotypes? It's because some people think this is political stuff, and it's not. It's American history, and it's Christian truth. So today, John Harvard lived 1607 to 1638. He came to America to be a clergyman, to be a minister, landed in Clarkston, Massachusetts, and he contributed his library and basically started the first college in the Americas. So Harvard University, 1636, was founded in Cambridge, Massachusetts from the donation of property in the library of Reverend John Harvard. Originally called the College at Cambridge, Harvard was the first college in America, being established only 16 years after the landing of the Pilgrims. They declared the purpose of the college was, listen to this, pay attention, it's a lot, to train a literate clergy. That was the purpose of Harvard University. That is just incredible. You think about a lot of the Ivy League schools, these big, uh, wonderful universities of learning. Most of them started as seminaries to teach and train men and women in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Boy, anybody would be hard-pressed to find that as a purpose today in these liberal institutions. So with that being said, I want to read another quote from Martin Luther. Martin Luther said, I am afraid that the schools will prove to be the very gates of hell unless they diligently labor in explaining the Holy Scriptures and engraving them in the heart of the youth. Wow, I mean, what do you even say to that? That's incredible. I fear that schools will prove to be the very gates of hell unless we diligently labor in explaining the Holy Scriptures. We look at these magnificent colleges and, wow, things have really changed. Now, what's really interesting is when you look at Harvard University, they, they have, um, in, in this wonderful book I'm reading from, there's eight uh, rules and precepts for Harvard University. And I'm not going to take the time to read all eight. They're incredibly fantastic. But these are the rules and the precepts as stated September 26, 1642, for the rules of Harvard University. Again, I'm only going to read two of them. The first, let every student be plainly instructed and earnestly pressed to consider well. The main end of his life and studies is to know God and Jesus Christ, which is eternal life. That was the main purpose of study. John 17, 3. And therefore, to lay Christ in the bottom as the only foundation of all sound knowledge and learning. And seeing the Lord only giveth wisdom, let everyone seriously set himself by prayer in secret to seek it of him. Proverbs 2 and 3. The next rule um, or precept for being at Harvard College. Everyone shall so exercise himself in reading the scriptures twice a day that he shall be ready to give such an account of his proficiency therein, both in theoretical observations of language and logic and in practical and spiritual truths, as his tutor shall require, according to his ability, Seeing the entrance of the word giveth light, it giveth understanding to the simple. Psalm 119, 130. Wow! I mean, we have just come such a long way. We don't know, most people don't know up from down, left from right. we arguing about what's right, what's wrong, uh, what sex am I, how do I feel, am I an animal or am I a human? Are you kidding me? Anyway... This is breaking stereotypes because this is not political. This is historical and biblical truth. You have a great day.